Boker Tov and Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Welcome back to the Light to the Nations channel. For me, it's a real beracha, a real blessing to be with you in this video today to share the word of Yahuwah, the bar of Yahuwah, the truth of Yahuwah. And most especially now that we are going to start with a series of studies of this interesting topic about the last days and what I call the a timeline of the end times. Uh, you know, uh, this is one of my favorite topics and I felt the need around two or two and a half years ago to start deeply, deeply study about the last days and the prophecies of the last days. But from a different perspective, um, what I felt at the moment uh, was the need to understand the sequence of the events and the, the signs related to those events in order to put this in a visual representation. Uh, that will help me and will help others to understand the chronology of all the events in a timeline. Uh, you know, I, I, did, I did this sp uh, study in Spanish uh, in, in its first version uh, two and a half years ago, and I started to, to share this information with uh, my family, with my relatives. Uh, we were meeting uh, every Shabbat at that time, and I was sharing with them this information. And it was very, very interesting what happened because um, the interaction we had was so important and so nice that uh, everybody was engaged on the, on the study. Uh, we started to discover directly in the, the Bar of Yahuwah and with the help of this material that I was preparing, uh, how all the events are going to uh, start happening. And we were taking also uh, how in front of our eyes most of the prophecies that are written in the scriptures are being fulfilled. Um, and, and actually, you know, we were able to discover during those, uh, those studies how our conceived ideas of uh, wrong teachings um, were not true, uh, true based on the light of the Devar of Yahuwah. So during the process, uh, we learned many things that help us to understand the process, the events, the chronology, and also even to identify teachings that are not correct, are not in alignment with the Devar of Yahuwah. So my intention is to, to share with you this information. Uh, for sure it's not going to be in Spanish, so, so don't worry about it. The material is in English now. So, so we will we will share this study um, and and again we need to um, and encourage you to study this not just to watch the video uh, take your scriptures read read along with me on on the scriptures because this is a very important day because i don't have any doubt and i'm most probably i think you that you don't have any doubt either that we are living in the last days um, you know, it's just a matter to, to watch the news, to, to see some videos in YouTube, to see what's going on in the world today. That is, is totally uh, crazy what's going to happen, what is, is happening. Uh, to understand how the prophecies uh, are being fulfilled. And it's just uh, in a matter of a click. We are living in the, in the, um, the age of the technology, the age of the, the knowledge. And even for me, that uh, I'm in the in one of the literally in one of the corner of the earth here in in, in Chile in South America, uh, I'm able to see what's what's happening in the other uh, end of the world, and it's happening to all of us. So today we can see how everything is being fulfilled, and that's why it's so important that we understand the chronology of events because understanding the sequence. We will understand and we will be, will be prepared to, to what's going to happen very soon in the world. Um, you know, for me, it's also why, why it's so important this topic because, uh, because of this study, the last day's study on the timeline, and also because of the identity crisis study that I, I was taking the study of, of Jim Stiley and, and put it in a Spanish presentation at that time. Uh, and because of those the two studies, I I was pushed by by Yahuwah to start digging and understanding his calendar, his true calendar. So you know the the calendar that I have been sharing with you is wasn't the main main topic that I was studying, 
and it was basically a need that I felt in my heart because I was pushed by him uh, because of the studies that I was doing about the last days and the identity crisis. So it is, it is nice because this is the way that he's leading us, this is the way that he's guiding us in his truth. Um, sometimes we would like to receive everything in a specific order, but he knows when we are prepared in order to receive him, uh, some truth. So he's delivering on his, lies, his light every time that he knows that we are ready to receive it. So even, even that um, the, the study that we will review today, if the intention is just to understand the sequence of events, and we are not going to go in the details to understand the symbology of uh, many of the prophecies, uh, because that was my original intention. Even, even though uh, Yahuwah has been leading me during this process, even because of the understanding of the calendar and because of uh, understanding the signs and the sequence of events, He has given me light in order to understand also some of the prophecies and some of the symbologies, like uh, what is the Babylon the Great, about the abomination of desolation, about the whole um, uh, uh, events related to Israel in the, the end times and about the second exodus and so on. So, you know, that's the way that Yahuwah is leading us. And, and don't worry because we will, I will share with you all of that. And, and again, as I have been telling you, I'm not a teacher. I'm just sharing with you what I have received. I'm encouraging you that you need to take this input and study by yourself because it's Yahuwah who is leading us and you, you don't need, I have been telling you in all, this, all the videos, you don't need to put the trust on me or in any man or any woman. You need to put the, the trust just on him and Yahuwah because in, in him is the truth and we know in his devar is the truth. Okay? So... This study is going to be a long one. Uh, it's going to be a several, several videos. Uh, I have been telling you that I, I, I'm trying all the time to make the videos as short as possible. Uh, it's a difficult and challenging task because there are so many things to share that uh, sometimes it's not, it's not easy to do it. But I will keep trying to do my best in order to keep these studies or these videos hopefully in less than an hour because I know that it's much easier it's going to be much easier for you to follow the, the videos as well so so I will keep trying to do my best okay um, and, and also as I have been telling you in most of the videos hey, if you have any question at the end of the study at the end of the video you can always send me an email to light to every nation at gmail.com uh, I will do my best in order to help you to answer the questions And if I don't have the answer, we will pray together to get the answer and understanding directly from Yahuwah. So let's start. I will share the screen with you. And we will move right away with the study. So the last days, a timeline of the end times. So what we will discover in this study, what are the key points that we will, we will be reviewing? So the first one is we will try to answer this question. Why is so critical to be alert? So we know that the end times prophecies are always speaking about several things that are going to happen to the world. How the world is going to change. It's speaking about the day of Yahuwah and, and the day of his wrath. And so, so there are many things that are going to, going to happen. And actually it's, it's happening today. We see all the natural disasters that are happening throughout all the earth, that the scientific and the politicians are saying that the climate change, but I'm sure that it's not the climate change because of uh, something that we are doing, it's because Yahuwah is fulfilling his prophecies and everything is written in the Devar of Yahuwah. So we see what's happening in the world today and we know, knowing the prophecies of the end times, what's going to happen in the world very soon. So we need to be alert. So there are some people that say that it doesn't matter because we don't know the day and the hour. So what for? What we need to be alert? We just need to wait that everything is going to happen. Other ones that believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, they, they believe that we don't need to worry because we are going to be, we are going to participate in the rapture. So we are not going to see any of this disaster in the world because we are going to be safe. So, 
All of this we are going to review in this study and the first thing that we will try to understand and answer is this important question, do we need to be alert and why so critical to be alert? Okay. The second point that the, we will also uh, discover as part of this study is the importance to understand the time and the seasons. I have been telling you in previous videos regarding the calendar specifically that we are not in darkness, we are in light. We are the sons, son of light, the name of light. So understanding and being on the light, we will understand the prophetic calendar of Yahuwah. We will know the time and the seasons. Most probably, as, Yahu, as Yahushua said, we will know the exact, exact day or the exact year or the exact hour. But knowing his calendar, knowing the time and the season, knowing his Moedim, because his Moedim are the prophetic calendar for his bride, for Israel, for us. We will know when everything will happen, in what, in when, in what moment of the year everything will happen. So that's why we are participating in the Moedim, because we are doing the dress rehearsal for when everything is going to happen in the prophetic calendar. So understanding uh, the time and the season uh, and, and, and its importance, their importance, uh, we will see what will happen, how this will happen, and when everything will happen. You know, those are the three most important questions that we need to ask ourselves every time, the what, the how, and the when. So understanding the sequence of events, understanding what's going to happen, and understanding how it's going to happen is going to be important for us in order to be prepared uh, for everything that is going to happen on the world. So, and this is basically what we will see, is understand the sequence of events, understanding the time and the season, understanding the what, the how, and the when, we will be able to understand the sequence of events, the chronology of events in a timeline. And most importantly, uh, actually, is to understand what are the signs related to each one of the events. Because understanding the signs is going to be easy for us to identify when the event is going to happen. So, for example, if we have event number one and we understand uh, the sign related to this event, uh, at the moment we'll, we see the sign, we will know that the event one is happening. And the same thing is, is uh, we have an event number two, event three, and even, event four. If we understand the signs related to each one of the events, it's going to be much easier for us to identify when everything is going to happen, when everything will begin. Okay? Also, what we are going to see in this study is we will try directly from the Bar of Yahuwah and directly to just check in uh, around us about what's happening in the world today. We'll try to identify where we are today according to the prophetic calendar of Yahuwah. You know, uh, I told you in, in just in, in, in a few minutes ago that we are able to see what's happening in the other corner of the earth. So understanding in this age of communication or technology and, and, and information, we can see what's happening in the other corner of the earth and how the prophecies of Yahuwah regarding the last days are being fulfilled. Okay? Also, what we will discover is to understand how all of the above, all of this point that we have been talking so far, will impact us. You know? I told you there are some people that are believing in the pre-tribulation rapture, so they believe that they are not going to go through this process. We will answer that question as part of, the, of this study as well. So we need to be prepared, we need to understand, because what happens if we need to go through the tribulation? For sure this will impact us. So we need to understand the events, we need to understand the chronology, we need to understand the sequence in order to see how all of this will impact us. And also, what we will discover is what we must do, what we must do in order to be ready. Because if we are going to go through in each one of the events, or in all of the events, or in some of them, we need to be re ready anyway. And, and this is somehow connected to the question, the first question we saw in the first point. Why so critical to be alert? And we see directly from the Bar of Yahuwah that all of this is related to life and death, because we know what's going to happen at the end time when Yahushua is coming to judge the world as the righteous judge 
that was assigned directly from appointed directly from Yahuwah that some some are gonna live some are gonna de die because this is what is written in the Bar of Yahuwah so it is really important for us to understand the sequence of events and this is what we are gonna review today so let's move on and the first part that we are gonna check uh, in the video today and I think this is the only part that we will we will check today it's an int introductory part and this is basically uh, to answer this question why is so critical to be alert and we will review the words of Mashiach as you can see there the words of Shaul and also the words of Melech Shlomo King Solomon so let's review some of the key points from the Bar of Yahuwah to answer this question why so critical to be alert the first one is because we, uh, it's supposed that we know the time and the seasons so his day, the day of Yahuwah, won't overtake us by surprise. And where is this written in the, the Bar of Yahuwah? These are the words of Shaul in the book of Thessaloniki Malef. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. And it says the following, Now, brothers, as to the times and the seasons, you, don't need, you do not need to be written to, for you yourselves know very well that the day of Yahuwah comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them as labor pain upon a pregnant woman. You know, we will see as part of this study, and I'm going to stop here for a moment, there are some specific keys that we need to start seeing, in, and I will, I will point those keys out. We will see it at the end of each one of the studies, uh, one of the videos, uh, because those are the keys that are, it will help us to connect the points. It will help us to connect each one of the events uh, because those are the, the joints that is uh, helping us to understand the sequence of events. Some of them are I'm, I'm, I'm highlighting here in red uh, letters. So we will see it anyway, but it's important for you to start paying attention on each one of the connectors, each one of those keys. Because somehow the Devar of Yahuwah is helping us to identify those keys and we will see it in different text throughout the scriptures how this is being connected. Okay, so let's read it again. Um, the verse 3, For when they say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon, upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. But you, brothers, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So then we should not sleep as others do, but we should watch and be sober. So you see, the Devar of Yahuwah in the words of Shaul is telling us that we should not sleep, that we need to watch, we need to be sober. Because we are not in darkness, we are the sons of light, the sons of the day. Because And because we are not in darkness, as we can see in the verse 4, this day, and because we are in the light and we are watching, we are not sleeping, this day, what day? The day of Yahuwah, as it is written here, because he's talking about the day of Yahuwah. His day won't overtake us as a thief, because we know that his day will come as a thief for the entire world. But because of the entire world is in darkness, they are, they are sleeping. They are not going to be able to see what's happening, what's coming. But since we are in the day, we are sons of the light. Because we are not in darkness, we are going to be able to see that his day is coming. And it's not going to take us by surprise. It's not going to overtake us as a thief. For the rest of the world, it's going to happen like that, as a thief. But for us, that we are awake, that we are not sleeping, that we are watching, and we are sober, uh, we are going to be able to see it before it happened. So that's why the entire uh, message from Shaul over here is that he doesn't need to write to us about the time and the seasons because we already know them and because we already are in the light. Because knowing the time and the season, knowing the Moedim, we know when everything is going to happen. And we will see as part of this study how the Moedim 
are connected to the events of the end times and how we Israel are going to fulfill each one of those moorings. Also, why is so critical to be alert as we saw it here? Because we must to watch at all times. Shaul said this in Thessaloniki Malef, but we should watch and be sober. But let's see another witness in the Devar of Yehuah. And this is written in Lucas. And this is, these are the words of Mashiach, of Yehushua HaMashiach. This is in the book of Lucas. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 34 to 36. And it says the following. And take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed weighted down by gluttony and drunkenness and worries of his life of this life and that they come on you suddenly so we see exactly the same pattern the day coming as a thief and the day coming suddenly for it shall come as as a snare on all those dwelling on the face of all the earth so it will come as a thief it will happen suddenly when anybody Nobody's expecting it to happen. It will happen. So the instruction from Yahushua in the verse 36, it says the following, watch then at all times. So Yahushua is telling us that we need to watch at all times. You know, there are some people that are saying, no, but this message has been preached through centuries and nothing is happening. And actually there is a verse, an important text on the, on the Devar of Yahuwah. I don't remember what it is. But it's saying that those that are uh, mocking uh, of the people that are saying that they, he's delaying his coming. But even those people in the same way that happened during Noah in the flood, they were not ready. The day of Yahuwah will come suddenly and it will come as a thief. So that's why Yahushua is telling us that we need to watch at all time. And all, not only watch, we need to pray it and pray that you be counted worthy to escape all this about to take place and to stand before the Ben Adam, the son of Adam. So there are many important things here that is basically he's telling us that uh, our hearts not, has not to be focused on the uh, day-to-day life activities it's not to be focused on the material aspect of the life it's not to be focused on the worries of the life because if we focus our entire attention on our day-to-day activities on the system of the world and how we are somehow connected to the world and if we are we are uh, worried about our own life uh, we are worried about every aspect of our emotions our thinkings and we are not the uh, uh, putting all our attention in Yahuwah and his malchut and his sedaka, his righteousness, the day of Yahuwah will come to us suddenly. Because by putting our attentions in the worries of the life, we are not in the light, we are in the darkness. Because where our treasure is, our heart will be as well. So, it is important that we need to watch at all times. So Yahushua is telling us why it's so critical to be alert. Because we need to watch at all times. And also it is written in the book of Hazon. This is Revelations chapter 3 verse 3. It says the following. Remember then how you have received and heard. And watch and repent. Again, Yahushua is telling us to watch and repent. If then you do not wake up, you see the connection. Those are sleeping, are in darkness. The day of Yahuwah will come as a thief. It will come suddenly because they are not watching. And Yahuwah, Yahushua is telling us in the book of Hazon again, watch and repent. If then you do not wake up, if you continue sleeping, I shall come upon you as a thief. We see the keys here, the connection, in all the passages. And you should not know at all what hour I come upon you. So Yehushua even here is telling us, if we, if we see the, this text in, text in the other way around, is that if we are already awake, we will know the hour when he's coming. Because he's saying, 
If you do not wake up, I shall come upon you as a thief and you should not know at, at all what hour I come upon you. So those that are sleeping and that are, those that are, don't, don't want to wake up, Yahushua will come as a thief and those people won't know at what hour he's coming upon us. So for those that are watching, for those that are already awake, for those that are looking and understanding the calendar, the prophetic calendar of Yahuwah and the sequence of events, we will know the hour when He's coming upon us. So that's why it's so important to be alert. That's why it's so important to be watching at all times. And in the book of Mishle, this is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 12. These are the words of Shlomo. It says the following, a clever man foresees calamity, hides himself. The simple show go on, they are punished. So even Shlomo, the king uh, Solomon, uh, he's telling us that a clever man, an intelligent man, and, and a man of understanding, he will be watching and he will foresee when calamity is coming and he will hide himself. So, if we are a man or a woman of understanding, we will be watching at all time, and when we see when calamity is coming, we will hide ourselves. And where, and where we will hide? We will hide under the shadow of Yahuwah, because under his shadow, we will be safe. Okay? So I think that the word of Yahuwah is quite clear with all of these witnesses, and we have more than three witnesses here, that why is so important for us to be alert? But because his day will come suddenly as a thief. And the work, all the people, all, all, all people that are in darkness and the people that are, just, are sleeping, they will know when it's going to happen. So we, that we are the sons of light, that we know the time and the season, we will know the hour that Yahushua is coming for us, understanding what he said in the book of Revelation. So, what are the main keys that we can will help us to open our understanding in this uh, in this video? We see the first key, the number one, are the time and the seasons, the Moedim. We saw the words of Shaul. We must know the Moedim. We must know the time and the seasons, because through that we will understand when everything is going to happen. We must know them. The second key is that. Is the word of Yahuwah and the text that we review is that it's going to happen a sudden destruction when they say peace and safety. So we will see in all the politicians for at least 20 years till now, they have been preaching and speaking about the peace and safety everywhere, especially related to the Middle East. And this is also important to what we're going to see here in this study. But what is important here is that Peace and safety is basically some of the signs. But what's going to happen is going to be a sudden destruction. This is also a key to understand everything in the chronology of events. Also, and this is an important key, because we will see the connection in many passages in the, throughout the scriptures, is as a labor pains upon a pregnant woman. So he's always the devout of Yahuwah regarding the prophecies of the end times, and we will see it uh, later in the study is comparing to a woman that is pregnant and is ready to give birth. So it's in all the pains uh, of giving birth, uh, and we will see how this amazingly connect everything through in the book of Hasson, in Revelations, in Yeshayahu, Isaiah, in Daniel, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah, and in, in, even in the in Matityahu, in the prophecy of uh, Yahushua in the Mount of Olives, we will see this important key. So keep it in your mind because you will see it in a lot of texts. The key number four is that we need to be sober and watch at all times. This is critical and we saw it in the passages before. We need to watch at all times. We need to be awake. And this is what Yahuwah is doing with us. He's awaking us to his truth, and to his calendar, and to his ways. Because being awake is the only way that we will see what's happening 
It's the only way that we are going to be able to be sober and watching at all times and to be prepared to the day of our redemption. So important key to keep it in our hearts, in our minds. Uh, also important key, the number five, that the day-to-day -day issues, the worries of this life in this earth, in this world, should not distract our attention. Every time that we put our focus in our day-to-day -day issues, in the worries of this life, we are not focusing ourselves in the way of Yahuwah. And we are getting distracted of what we really need to be focused on. So it's important because this is a day-to-day -day decision. It's a conscious decision every day of our life, in every minute, every hour of our life that we need to make the decision to be, uh, to put our focus in Him, in, not in the worries of the life. You know, it's not easy because we are living in this world. We are part of this world, but we are not of the world. So that is the, con the, the conscious decision we need to do every day. Because if we decide to follow the world and His, and his flow and His, uh, and, 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 and his freedom and its freedom, we will forget completely to put our focus in Yahuwah and we were going to get distracted and we are not going to be sober and we are not going to be watching at all time. Important to put the right balance, but important, even more important, is to put the focus always in Yahuwah, His truth, His way. The key number six, and is related to the key number two, it says that His day, it will come as a snare on all humanity. So it's a snare, not to some only, it's for all, over all humanity. So this is coming for the entire world, not just, not just for some of them, for the entire world, and it's coming suddenly as a snare. So important to remember that. Also, the key number seven, that he shall come as a thief for those asleep, so we need to be awake, because if we are awake, it will not take us by surprise. It's not going to be as a thief for us, because we will be waiting for it. Okay? So, as a summary, important to keep it in our heart. We must wake up. We must watch. We, need, we must to get ready, because this is happening today, and everything is accelerating. So we need to understand what's happening, what's going to happen next, and we need to be awake. We need to be watching at all time. We need to be get ready for what's coming. We need to get ready for the day of our redemption. So in the next video, we will continue and we'll review in the part two, and we will talk about the Ruach, the spirit of prophecy. How to correctly or properly interpret the scriptures and properly interpret the prophecies of the scriptures and the prophecies about the last days. We will keep this video until here, so you will have the time to review it again, and you will have the time to study again this video. It's important, keep it in, our, in your heart. It's important and critical for us to be alert in these last days, and to be watching, to be sober, and to awake to His entire truth. He's guiding us. He's leading us. So it's important for us to study the word, to receive the food, the real food that is coming from him, and understand why, what he's trying to tell us and why he's trying to teach us. So please review the video as much as you can. Take the notes. You can review the passages on the scriptures. And again, if you have any question, send me the email. I will be happy to help you and answer any question as much as I can. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Shalom.